Hello, Serious Survivor here. Today we're going to talk about some common plants in the United States that are toxic or poisonous to humans and animals. Sometimes in a survival situation we're forced to forage for food. When wildlife or fish are not plentiful, one can be led to alternative means for survival. Recognizing the edible and toxic in your area can literally be a lifesaver. This video will focus on several types of poisonous or toxic plants that you may run across in the wilderness and even in some urban settings. Remember, prepping or preparation begins with knowledge, not gear. This is a list of plants that I have researched and found to be common throughout the U.S. and the world. This is not an all-inclusive list, so please don't assume that a plant that doesn't make this list is edible. Know your environment. There will be many more videos in this series, but for now, let's begin. Most plants contain some level of toxins for self-defense. After all, they're plants. They can't go anywhere. So to escape their natural predators, they have to develop means of protecting themselves. Many plants have physical defenses, including but not limited to thorns, spines, and prickles. But by far the most common type of protection is through chemical means. And through the process of natural selection, plants have evolved the means to produce a vast and complicated array of chemical compounds in order to deter herbivores. For example, tannin is a defensive compound that began fairly early in the evolutionary history of plants. While much more complex molecules like polyacetylenes can now be found in younger groups of plants such as the asterales. Many of the known plant defense compounds primarily defend against consumption by insects, yet other animals, and this does include humans, that may consume such plants can also experience negative effects, and this can range from mild discomfort all the way to paralysis and death. Even the lima bean has been bred to contain less of its toxin, cyanide. Cherries, potatoes, peaches, and apple seeds, these are all toxic. Eat enough of the seeds and it will prove fatal. Through centuries of trial and error, animals and humans have figured which plants are safe, which ones are lethal, and which ones are somewhat in between. Fortunately these days for humans, artificial selection or genetic modification and such means, along with modern cooking methods, have nearly eliminated the threat of toxins in our everyday foods. But it may be surprising to find out that incredibly lethal plants are still often very close by. Wilderness trails, neighborhood parks, decorative landscaping, or even accenting your home in the form of a decorative piece. The variations of chemical defenses in plants are so numerous that many questions about this subject are still unanswered. The castor bean. Castor oil. For those who have had the experience of being spoon-fed this healthy, yet terrible, tasting fluid as a child, it could very well be surprising to know that an ingredient in the castor bean is coincidentally the deadliest plant poison on the face of the earth, literally. A toxin called ricin is found throughout the plant, but it is concentrated in the seeds or beans. One raw seed is enough to kill a human in two days, which makes for a very long, extremely agonizing, and unstoppable death. The initial symptoms are experienced within a few hours and include a burning sensation in the throat and the mouth, abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, and vomiting. The process is unstoppable and the final cause of death is dehydration. Castor oil is made safe by the removal of the lethal compound we know as ricin. Castor bean plants are grown for decorative purposes all over the place, particularly in California. Strangely enough though, Humans are the most sensitive to these seeds, as it takes one to four to kill a full-grown human, about 11 to kill an average-sized dog, and a whopping 80 seeds to kill a mallard or duck. The castor plant currently holds the Guinness World Record for the most poisonous plant. Rosary Pea As if a deadly pea isn't bad enough, the pulses aren't very benign either. The rosary pea may sound sweet and even delicate, yet this is actually one of the most dangerous plants on this earth. Its seeds contain a particular lectin known as abrin. If chewed and swallowed, death will follow shortly. The seeds are identified with a distinctive bright red jacket and single black dot. This is one of the most fatal toxins on earth. After the vomiting, the fever, the nausea, drooling, and gastrointestinal dysfunction, bladder and retinal hemorrhaging, and widespread internal lesions typically develop. This ends in extreme hyperexcitability, edema, and fatally convulsive seizures. Monkshood. Another unassuming plant until you learn that the nickname for monkshood is actually wolfsbane. This is a plant belonging to the buttercup family. These perennial plants are typically native to the mountainous regions of the northern hemisphere. 
and this plant contains a very large quantities of a poisonous alkaloid. And this alkaloid used to be used by the Ainu people of Japan as poison for hunting on the tips of their arrowheads. In cases of ingestion, symptoms which include burning in the limbs and abdomen sets in immediately. In cases of large do doses, death can occur within two to six hours and 20 milliliters is enough to kill an adult human. Interesting enough, wolf Spain is also mentioned in mythology and werewolf lore as being able to either repel the werewolves or to induce the wolf state regardless of the moon's phase, hence the name Wolfsbane. And it also was a popular werewolf detection tool. Status was determined by holding the flower near the alleged person's chin and a yellow tinged shadow on the skin was thought to be the confirmation. That's owing to its once common use by farmers as a very effective wolf extermination tool also. Not to be left out, fowl are also fatally affected by the related hensbane. There are more than 250 species of this type of plant. Bushman's Poison The aptly named Bushman's Poison has famously been used by the Khoisan of South Africa to poison the tips of their arrows. This plant is native to Africa but has been transplanted throughout the world including the U.S. Though the plant produces pleasantly scented flowers and a palatable plum-like berry, the milky sap itself can be fatal. The leaves, however, do have medicinal properties. Bushman's poison is also known as winter sweet. Angel's Trumpet Angel's trumpets are flowering plants which are native to the tropical regions of South America but are found around the world. The name Angel's Trumpet comes from the trumpet-shaped flowers covered in fine hairs that hang from the tree. Related to petunias, tomatoes, and potatoes, the Angel's Trumpet is an extremely effective hallucinogen, but should not, under any circumstance, be consumed for recreational purposes. The flowers come in a variety of sizes and colors, including white, yellow, orange, and pink, and all parts of this plant contain several types of deadly toxins. The common plant also goes by many other names including gemson weed, stinkweed, loco weed, and devil's snare. Water hemlock. The poison hemlock famously drunk by philosopher Socrates is deadly, but the water hemlock is just as fatal. According to the USDA, water hemlock or poisonous parsnip is the most violently toxic plant in North America. The flowers and stems are safe, but the stalky roots contain chambers that are full of a deadly sap containing a convulsant toxin. Extreme seizures are followed by a quick death if even a tiny amount is consumed. Water hemlock, or poison parsnip, belong to a group of highly poisonous plants native to the temperate regions of the northern hemisphere. The plants, which have distinctive small white or green flowers, are arranged in an umbrella shape. Water hemlock is considered to be North America's most poisonous plant as it is extremely poisonous to humans. The plants contain a toxin which causes seizures. The poison is found in all parts of the plant, yet it is most concentrated in the roots. This toxin is the most potent in the springtime. Ingestion or consumption will result in immediate seizures, along with symptoms which may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pains, tremors, and confusion. Death is directly caused by respiratory failure or ventricular fibrillation. Snake root, sometimes called white snake root and also known as white sanicle or tall bonacet, is a highly poisonous plant native to North America. Their flowers are white and after blooming, small seeds will blow away with the wind. This plant has a very high percentage of the toxin named trematol. It is not known for killing humans directly, but through the indirect means and consumption. When the plant is eaten by cattle, the toxin is absorbed into the milk and to the meat. When humans, in turn, eat the beef or drink the milk, the toxin enters the body and causes something called milk sickness or trematol poisoning. And this is highly fatal. Thousands of settlers died from milk sickness in America in the early 19th century, and it is also believed that Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks, died from milk sickness herself. Strychnine tree. The strychnine tree, or better known as poison nut or Quaker button, is a medium-sized tree originally native to India and Southeast Asia, yet now can be found in warm climates throughout the world. The small seeds inside the green or orange fruit are highly toxic, being filled with the poisonous alkaloid strychnine. A minute 30 milligrams of these toxins are enough to be fatal to an adult and will lead to a painful death from violent convulsions.
Historical note on this, Queen Cleopatra forced her servants to commit suicide by means of a strychnine tree's fruit seeds. She did this in order to determine if it would be the best means for her own suicide. When she witnessed the agonizing deaths, which included painful vomiting, facial contortions, and convulsions, she opted for the apparently less horrific choice of the asp. And the asp was actually an ancient term for multiple types of poisonous snakes. Today's experts think it was the cobra that Cleopatra chose to end her life. Moonseed. The moonseed is a plant that if consumed will often result in fatal effects. The seeds of this eastern North American droop or stone fruit are extremely toxic to humans, although birds can eat them. Moon seeds first cause paralysis, but are fatal in larger doses and if treatment is not sought immediately. The Daphne. This plant, also called the Spurge Laurel, is a common ornamental shrub. This droop producing evergreen with a waxy and attractive foliage and blooms is also highly toxic. Consumption of the leaves or red or yellow fruits that grow upon these will first cause nausea and violent vomiting, followed by internal bleeding, coma, and death. The Daphne plant is rich in the toxin mezzarine. Narcissus flowers. Narcissus are toxic enough in the human form, but the plant from which they are named from, also called the daffodil, is extremely poisonous. Poet's Narcissus is more toxic than daffodil, but in both cases it is the bulbs, not the flower, not the stems, that will cause illness and death. One famous fatal case in Toulouse, France in the early 1900s occurred when the bulbs were mistaken for onions and eaten by many people. Now, According to Botanical.com, Socrates called this plant the Chaplet of the Infernal Gods because of its narcotic effects. An extract of the bulbs when applied to open wounds has produced staggering numbness of the whole nervous system and even paralysis of the heart. Although there are medicinal properties and some cultures even believe they can cure baldness and serve as a potent aphrodisiac, do not try this at home. The Oleander The Oleander is considered by many to be the deadliest plant in the world. Even though it is tremendously popular as a decorative piece, just one leaf can kill an adult and fatal poisons have resulted from minimal exposure to the twigs, the blooms, and or the berries. The plant contains numerous toxins, including nereocide, oleandricide, saponins, and cardiac glycosides. Though native to the parts of the Mediterranean and Asia, it is now widely cultivated throughout the entire world. Fatalities are among and common in livestock and horses. After ingestion, the oleander goes to work immediately and simultaneously on the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, and the digestive tract. Rhododendron. The toxic rhododendron, a stalky tree-like evergreen shrub with large and brilliant blooms, is seen throughout much of the Pacific Northwest and is actually the state flower of Washington. Its relative, the popular garden shrub azalea, is also poisonous. Both plants contain Andromeda toxin, which can cause severe pain, lethargy, depression, vomiting, nausea, progressive paralysis, coma, and eventually death. All parts of these plants are deadly. Nightshade. Nightshade is also known as the devil's cherry, black cherry, grape moral, and belladonna. The nightshade is toxic from one end to the other. Containing atropine, which is a very deadly alkaloid, those who ingest even a small amount of the plant will soon notice they have lost their voice. Respiratory trouble and convulsions are soon to follow. The plant presents a difficult problem because its cherries are so sweet, and this results in children being frequently attracted to this wild fruit. Strangely, horses, birds, sheep, goats, and pigs seem to be immune to the effects of nightshade. Nightshade poisoning is usually treatable if treatment is sought swiftly. Legend has it that Macbeth's soldiers poisoned the invading Danes with wine made from this sweet fruit. Well that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, there are many, many more toxic plants, but these plants we talked about were chosen for inclusion in this list due to their undeniable and incredible characteristics. Never assume something is safe to eat. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative, and for now, Serious Survivor, out.